Just a quick little disclaimer before we start this video. I've caught myself a cold, as you probably can see. So if you hear a lot of these sounds, then you probably know why. And as we know, Huawei made their P20 Pro early this year, which revolutionized the phone industry with three cameras for the first time on a phone, a 4000 mAh battery and a beautiful 6 inch OLED display. And now they're of course ready to do so again with their new Mate 20 and Mate 20 Pro, which we're going to talk about right now. So let's get right to it. Now what we know so far is that the Mate 20 and Mate 20 Pro most likely will have a glass back as the, you know, the old P20 Pro and maybe the Mate 20 will have an aluminum back but no sources suggest that. And as you know with glass bags comes wireless charging and that is of course also something you can expect on the two phones this year but they are adding a little thing on top of the wireless charging. The phone now contains the you know, the possibility to charge other phones or other items like the new AirPods clone from Huawei, the FreeBuds 2, I think the, that's the name of it. And pictures suggest that you can put it on the back of the phone, then you can charge them up, which is a pretty neat feature, but it will of course also need a big battery to do so. And of course the phone will be totally waterproof, just like its predecessor, the Mate 10 Pro but you can maybe expect it to have a higher IP rating so that it can withstand more pressure on the water and more dust, etc, etc. And of course the auxiliary will be back. That is of course what photos suggest, so I hope that will be a reality soon. And what the colors you can expect, you can of course expect some, you know, dope color shifting finishes on the phones, like on the P20, you know, the violet thing with the blue shine, you know, dope colors. And next up is display. Now what we know so far is that the Mate 20 is most likely going to feature a 6.3 inch display, an OLED screen with either Full HD Plus or QHD Plus. Then it will have a small little drop up top, you know, where the selfie camera is going to be, just like on the Essential phone, or perhaps a 3D facial recognition scanner built into the camera, something like that. And the Mate 20 Pro is going to be the largest phone of all time. It's gonna have a 6.9 inch OLED screen with either Full HD Plus or QHD Plus screen in resolution of course. We hope for the QHD Plus because a screen that big would need an, you know, a resolution upgrade. And of course comes with a small little notch look-alike like on the iPhone X to feature the 3D facial recognition which this one will certainly have and a selfie camera or two. And furthermore we know that the phone will allegedly have an in-display fingerprint reader so that you will get rid of the fingerprint reader on the front and also on the back. And that would be a dope upgrade. Now what about the camera? Now I think that the first thing that pops up into your head when talking about the Mate 20 Pro is the quadruple camera setup. That is at least what Huawei teases us with with their new little teasing video. And what people might expect here is the four lenses that Huawei perhaps is coming with, but other sources just suggest that it's like the P20 Pro. It will have three lenses and one for the, you know, the blitz to you know, light up the area. And then it will just have a, a different aperture and of course a different quality, a better quality. And also the possibility to take dope underwater photos and it will also have an improved AI uh, camera so that it will, uh, it's better at zooming and focusing while you're zooming on the go. Also have an AI cinema mode so when you're filming you can use different filters. And of course also the last thing is video bokeh. Let's talk about the internal specs of the Mate 20 and the Mate 20 Pro. So on the P20 Pro you can expect a base model with 128GB of storage, 6GB of RAM and well yeah maybe there will be some better or bigger options because they have the rival Samsung with their Note 9, 512 gigs on a phone which is insane but maybe they will go there, maybe they won't, maybe they go in between 256 gigs with 8GB of RAM, I think that's the point you can expect with the Mate 20 Pro. And of course, the one of the biggest selling points on the phone is the new Kirin 980 processor, which should be 20% faster 
uh, than the you know the 970 and 40% better battery efficiency, which is insane. But it's one of the smallest chips and the fastest chips in the world. So Huawei is you know leading on that territory. So you can expect a fast phone which blazes through everything, every program, every game you play. And that's one of the things I'm really looking forward to check out on the. I'll wait P20 Pro, May 20 Pro game. And what you know about the battery then? Now what I know is that the May 20 will have a 6.3 inch display and the bigger May 20 Pro will have a 6.9 inch display. And it of course need some juice to power that up, especially if it's a QHD Plus display. So uh, TechRadar had something sent from Huawei which suggests that, a little teaser here, that the Huawei May 20 Pro will have a bigger battery and also the May 20. Perhaps 4,300 milliamp hours, 4,500, 5,000, nobody knows, but we'll find out October the 16th. What is the price? Now the Mate 20 and Mate 20 Pro is most likely going to cost more than its predecessor, the P20 Pro, which started at $1,100 or 800 pounds. I think you can expect around $1,200 for the Mate 20, and the Mate 20 Pro is going to be somewhere between $1,300 and $1,400 based on the up specs in the phone, you can expect the up price, of course. Now that was all from me. I hope you got a lot of information that you could use on the next and upcoming May 20 and May 20 Pro. And if you liked the video, you should of course consider subscribing and hit that little bell icon so that you won't miss out on any video I post here in the near future. I'll be seeing you in my next video, LBC Tech Therapy, signing out. Peace.